What is interference color? It is a color of mineral in cross light. Remember that interference color is entirely different from the color of mineral which we observe in plain polarized light. Unlike color, it is a distinct property of each mineral, which means that two or more than two minerals can have same color, but interference color of two minerals cannot be same. Two or more than two minerals can have same color in plain polarized light, but remember that interference color of two minerals cannot be same because each mineral has its own distinct or its, its own specific interference color, and no two minerals share same interference color. That's why we say that interference color is distinct property of each mineral. Factors affecting the interference color include retardation, nature of mineral, and nature of light. Now, what is retardation and how it affects interference color? It is product of thickness of a mineral in section and difference of refractive indices of an isotropic mineral. Mathematically, its retardation is shown in this equation. Delta is a Greek symbol which represents retardation. T indicates thickness of mineral thin section, while mu2 and mu1 denote refractive indices of anisotropic mineral. This difference of refractive index of anisotropic mineral is also called as birefringence. So we may define retardation as the product of birefringence and thickness of mineral thin section. In other words, the product of thickness of mineral thin section and birefringence is called as retardation. Remember, dear students, that retardation has direct relation with the interference color. If retardation is greater, interference color will be higher. If retardation is smaller, interference color will be uh, will be low. Ideal thickness of mineral thin section is zero. 0.03 to 0.04 millimeter. Generally, thin section ranges in thickness within this range. The thickness of thin section ranges between 0.03 to 0.04. So, the major factor which affects retardation is birefringes, and birefringes vary from mineral to mineral. If the birefringes is greater, then interference color will be higher. If birefringes is lower, if birefringes is lower or smaller, then interference color will be also low. How nature of mineral affects interference color? If a mineral is cut in a direction perpendicular to C axis, the mineral will give low interference color. While if a mineral is cut parallel to C X to C axis of the mineral, then mineral will give high interference color. Suppose how nature of mineral affects Interference color. Suppose this is a mineral, and the red line represents C axis of of this mineral grain. So, if mineral is cut perpendicular to the C axis, the green line represents the cutting direction of mineral. If it is cut perpendicular to C axis, then such mineral will give Low interference color. Another end is the same mineral grain with interference with C axis shown by the red line. If this same mineral grain is cut parallel to the C axis, then such mineral grain will give high interference color, and in this way. The cutting direction of the mineral affects interference color. If cutting direction is perpendicular to C axis, the mineral grain will give low interference color. If cutting direction is parallel to C axis, the same mineral grain will give will give high interference color. Now, Michael Levy color chart. What is Michael Levy color chart? This is interference color chart 
which was developed by a scientist whose name was Michael Levy. And this color chart is used for identification of minerals on the basis of interference color. This color chart helps us to identify mineral intersection on the basis of interference color. Interference colors of minerals are divided into orders on the basis of retardation as you can see at the base of this color chart, orders are written first order, second order, and third order. This classification of order is based on the retardation. If retardation is greater, then order will be higher. If retardation is smaller, then order will be low. And remember, from this interference color chart, we can estimate retardation of a mineral in a thin section on the basis of interference color. In other words, that we can estimate by refranges of, of any mineral intersection from this color chart. 